Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to FilmSci. Number 1, Scrub Daddy. The Scrub Daddy sponge can scrape away tough skins without losing its fun shape. On Season 4, Aaron Krause, founder of the company, demonstrated the sponge's capabilities, easily removing the stains from glass and other kitchenware. Two of the investors, Damon John and Kevin O'Leary, were interested in the product, but Scrub Daddy eventually partnered with inventor and entrepreneur Lori Griner for $200,000 in return for 20% equity in the business. Number 2, Lala Cup. When their own kids struggled to use existing Lala Cups of straws, husband and wife Mark and Hannah Lim created Lala Cup. With several offers on the table, including from O'Leary and John Lala Cup, eventually partnered with businessmen investors Mark Cuban and Robert Herjabek for $100,000 in return for 40% equity in the business. The Lims were originally seeking $100,000 for a 15% stake in their company, but an offer from O'Leary changed, and they made a counteroffer for $100,000 for 40%, which both Cuban and Herjabek eventually agreed to. Number 3, Tipsy Elves. Tipsy Elves is a holiday-themed apparel company that specializes in ugly sweaters and even costumes and ski gear. Before presenting to the Sharks, co-founders Evan Mendelson and Nicholas Morton put an extensive amount of preparation into their sales pitch, including memorizing the gritty details of the business, such as conversion rates and customer acquisition costs. Their hard work paid off. Robert Herjavec invested $100,000 for a 10% stake. The Tipsy Elves founder had this to say, we tailored our pitch to the sharks we were most interested in. Mark Cuban, with his internet experience and ability to expand the online presence. Damon John, with his retail and branding experience. And Robert Herjavec, because of his internet experience and presence in Canada. Another big market for us. Number 4, Groovebook. Created by husband and wife team Julie and Brian Whiteman, the Groovebook app lets customers order a photo book using their smartphones. Subscribers can easily free up phone space with the app and receive a monthly photo book for $3.99. In Season 5, Mark Cuban and Kevin O'Leary snapped up the deal and collectively invested $150,000 in the subscription-based service in exchange for 80% of licensing rights. The success of this business was a joint effort. Brian Whiteman created a photo book for his wife to cheer her up after she lost her phone and the thousands of pictures on it. Together, they developed the smartphone app so other people could easily have hard copies of their digital photos. Number 5, Squatty Potty. Invented by a mother, father, and son as a result of the mother's colon issues, the Squatty Potty is an ergonomic toilet stool that helps users take care of their bathroom business. Lori Griner invested $350,000 for 10% equity in the company on Season 6. The Squatty Potty wasn't exactly a glamorous investment. The shark's mouse dropped to the floor when Bobby Edwards and his mother Judy asked for $350,000 investment in the toilet product. The pair was not deterred, pitched as a simple product that changes lives. The Edwardses highlighted the negative health effects of the traditional method of taking care of business, complete with charts and statistics. They also highlighted their sales, $2 million in the first few quarters of that year. For 5 million people use the bathroom, we are going to show you how it works in just 20 seconds. When you put your feet up on the Squatty Potty, it fully loosens the muscle in your body responsible for holding waste in. This is clinically proven to reduce strain, time on the toilet, and improve... Number 6, Buggy Beds. Packaged with an eye-catching green logo, Buggy Beds are glued traps for bed bugs. Simply stick the traps under the beds, chairs, etc. The traps do the rest and prevent infestations. All five sharks invested a combined $250,000 for 25% of the company. Sleep tight and don't let the bug bugs bite was the final line of Maria Curcio and Veronica Prolongo's Buggy Beds pitch. While there was definitely a market for their product, and the sharks knew it, Buggy Beds did an excellent job for marketing and getting the sharks excited about the glue traps. As with Squatty Potty, bed bug prevention is not exactly an exciting investment, but combined with a compelling pitch and eye-catching visuals, Buggy Bed sold the sharks on the concept. Bed bugs are everywhere! Intended to lure and detect bed bugs for around-the-clock monitoring. Simply slide and hide buggy beds under your mattress or sofa cushions. Use them in your... That's going to do it for today's video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like on the video. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on any of our videos in the future. I'll catch you next time. Goodbye.